This is my 40 gallon saltwater fish tank. It's full of captive bred fish, sea urchins, hermit crabs, shrimp, and snails. There's almost no maintenance required because I set up an automatic water change system. This is a fish only tank that is super easy for beginners, but I built it in such a way that I can add anemones, coral, and macro algae anytime I want. I'm going to show you how to set this up for yourself. This 40 gallon all in one system comes with the stand, glass aquarium, clear mesh screen, rear filtration chamber, filter sock, acrylic caddy, media, and a controllable return pump. The aluminum stand took me an hour to put together and comes with a super handy adjustable height wooden shelf. My wife helped me lift the aquarium into place. Now we need to create the habitat for our fish, but do it in such a way that allows for the future addition of corals. Our first step, is to build a rock structure that we call an aquascape. We use this human made purple reef rock to build our fish a home. Some of the pieces were too big, so we used a hammer and chisel to break them apart. Our goal was to build a beautiful rock structure with tons of swim throughs, arches, overhangs, and caves for our fish to play and to feel safe. Using a mix of reef safe epoxy and extra thick super glue, we spent a couple hours putting the entire aquascape together and then let it sit overnight to harden. My wife again helped me lift the aquascape into place being careful not to scratch the glass. We call this live sand. It comes directly from our oceans and is packed wet and with a ton of beneficial bacteria. We emptied a 20 pound bag onto the glass bottom and spread it around with our hands. We've added our reef rock and our live sand. It's time to add the salt water. We mixed up a batch of salt water using seawater mix and filtered water and then added it to our tank. Our water was a little bit cloudy after this, so we added our filter socks and a water clarifier to clear it up a bit. We're getting so close to adding our fish, but we still have a few things to do. We added a wave maker to the rear left of our tank. This will not only keep a nice current in our system, but it will also help keep fish food and waste off of our sand bed and into our filter socks. Next, we'll add some lights. We chose these easy to install LEDs. They're awesome because they're easy to program and they're specifically designed for coral growth. So if we ever decide to add corals or anemones later, we'll be ready for it. To keep our power bricks and controllers organized, we're going to mount everything to this control board and then mount the board to the side of the stand. To keep our tank at 77 degrees, we placed a heater in the rear filtration chamber and used this titanium temperature probe and controller to alert us if the temperature gets too high or too low. We also set up an Apex Aquarium controller to keep tabs on our system, automate several areas, and send us real-time alerts if our temperature gets out of whack. Next, we need to cycle our tank. This is super easy to do and involves two steps. Step one, add ammonia into the tank. And step two, add beneficial bacteria to eat the ammonia. Now we just test our water every single day until our ammonia level gets close to zero and it's ready for fish. We'll be using this aquarium controller to automate our water changes. This dosing pump will remove four gallons a week and add back in four fresh gallons. Basically, it's doing a weekly 10% water change all by itself. And our last two pieces of equipment are an auto top-off unit and a freshwater reservoir. The moment has finally arrived. We're ready for fish. All of the fish we're about to show you are captive bred. We chose several small fish that will live peacefully together inside this glass box. After temperature acclimating them to their new home, we carefully added them one by one to the tank. Introducing our two Kamohara blennies, Yuki and Tsunoda. They never hide and swim freely around the tank all day long. This is Lando, 
and this is Norris, our two neon dotty backs. They like to dart in and out of the rock work, and they are always excited for feeding time. Our last dynamic duo are Alex and Albona. These mocha clownfish just love swimming around the tank all day. Maybe one day I'll get them an anemone, but they're totally fine without one. My favorite fish out of the entire bunch is Alonzo, our pygmy file fish. He was so small when he arrived, but is getting bigger every day. Our last fish is the Watchman Gobi. Luckily, I had a pistol shrimp in another tank, and since I added it, they've been best buds in this burrow ever since. To help keep the glass, sand bed, and rock work clean, I added a whole bunch of red-legged hermit crabs, algae-eating trochus snails, carnivorous serith snails, and three sea urchins. Since all of these fish are captive bred, they are really easy to feed. I feed them a mix of frozen mysis shrimp and callinus twice a day and supplement with some TDO chroma boost pellets and some algae wafers for the snails and sea urchins. One last piece of gear I set up after adding the fish, a macro algae refugium. I added some macro algae, a couple lights, and hung it from the rear of my tank. This simple piece of gear increases pH, oxygenates the water, provides a home for copepods, and consumes ammonia, nitrate, and phosphate. Every week, there's only a few tasks to do, starting with scraping the glass, wiping down the tank, removing a small piece of the macroalgae, changing out the filter socks, filling the ATO reservoir with fresh filtered water, and adding fresh seawater to the left bucket while removing the dirty seawater from the right bucket. Corals look great in a saltwater aquarium, but a fish-only system can be equally as satisfying and way easier. I've built all sorts of tanks packed with corals and anemones, but if I'm being honest, my favorite are fish-only systems. I love the ease of care, the minimal maintenance, but above all, the personalities of the fish. They truly are my pets and interact with me in a way that no coral ever can. Now, it's your turn. Click here to explore and be inspired by all the different tanks we've set up. Find a tank you love and get to building your dream. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching. Happy reefing, be well. We'll see you next time.